I'll show you how to set up VRC router to be used with Boop Counter and as well as VRC Face Track. VRC router is very useful if you want to have multiple OSC apps running and for all of them to communicate with VRChat, sending and receiving data at the same time, as well as to launch those apps when VRChat starts and to close them once Steam VR exits. This is again very useful if you're like me and want to have the Boop Counter. VR chat, face tracking, and maybe some other OSC apps all running at the same time for them to launch automatically, for them to close automatically. Now, inside the VRC router filter, you will find all the required software and documentation. If you want a written guide and all the written documentation, you can find it in the usage.txt folder. VRC router configuration.exe is the app that you will be using to configure the VRC router itself to set it up to do what you want it to do. The VRC router.exe app is going to be the app that does the routing. This is the thing that will start the apps and do the networking and all of that. You, this is this is the thing that does the work. So, let's run let's run VRC router, and immediately it'll ask us if we want to set it up so that it automatically launches when Steam VR starts. This will make it so that the VRC router starts with Steam VR, not the configuration. And I, I recommend turning this on because this can simplify your life quite heavily. It will automatically make sure that VRC router runs with Steam VR, and then once Steam VR closes, it will also close the uh, VRC router and any apps that started. And this can be disabled in the VRC router configuration anytime. So I'm going to say yes. So greeted with this uh, application right here. If we want to change the CMER auto start, we can do it right here in, in, in these little buttons. If we want to change from where we receive OSC data, so from where we get all the uh, VRChat OSC, we can change it here with the receive address and receive port. Uh, unless you really know what you're doing, I don't recommend changing this because these are automatically set up to be the VRChat defaults. If you don't want to wait for VRChat to start, you can disable this checkbox here and all of the Routing and all start ops will automatically start as soon as the VR chat router has been started. Now, let's set up boop counter to. Now, let's set up the boop counter so that we get data into it and that we also start it with the router. So we can plus new route, create a name called boop counter, and press create, and we'll be greeted with all these configurations here. Okay, now that we have our route. We can configure the uh, the port and address that we want everything to go to. We'll keep this on the defaults for now because I know that 9002 isn't being used. And we can configure the boop counter to use this port. Now, I want the boop counter to automatically start as VR VRC router is starting. So we're going to set up the executable path here. We can click browse and navigate to the boop counter exe. What I'm going to do first so I'm going to move the boot counter folder into VRC router routes. And what this will do is it'll simplify things a little bit for us. So let me just navigate here. Boop counter and let's select the boop counter exe. And our executable path is a relative path, meaning that if we move the VRC router folder, it will always point to this correct location right here because it's inside of the VRC folder. And now if we launch VRC router, we can see that it is properly launched. But however, as you can see, receiving from 9001 and sending to 9000, uh, we're receiving from the same port and address as VRC router will be receiving, which will create uh, problems. And one of these apps will not work properly. What we want to do is we want to configure the boop counter to listen on 9002. And we can do that in the configure right here and set it to listen to 9002. Then we can restart, press launch. As you can see, it's listening on 9002. What we can also do is specify that in the launch arguments. You can skip this part, but I'm going to do it anyway. And we have an example of how to do that in the boop counter usage.txt. It has these launch arguments to copy those paste them here and then we can use a certain format here and we have 
documented in the usage, not txt, of output address and output port to automatically format the output address and output port. So now, once that's there, I could say set the output port to 9010 9, launch. And as you can see, it has been overridden and it will automatically listen to this port. Great. That's really it. Now, if we close the configuration and start VRC router, you will see that it is waiting for VRChat to start. Now, let me just launch VRChat real quick, and then I will launch VRC router and show you that this works properly. Okay. So now, if I launch VRC router, we can see the boop counter has automatically been started, and we can verify that it's working by sending the send boop message. If you are not having any messages show up or that the boop counter is showing no indication of receiving or sending data, you probably don't have OSC enabled in VRChat. To do that, open up your radial menu, go into Options, OSC, and make sure that this Enable checkbox is on. I'm going to turn it off and then back on, and your avatar will be refresh. Now, at this point, uh, VRChat will be sending and receiving OSC data, but you still might not see a text message show up from the boop counter, in which case you're going to have to restart VRChat. And now, if we move around a bit, we can see that it is receiving data. Not constantly, but it's definitely receiving data on the specific port and that the router is doing its job. Great. Now, if we close that, as you can see, the router closes and so does the boop counter, which is great. Now, let's set up the face tracking. Instead of the face tracking, uh, we already have a VRC face tracking 5.0 uh, preset right here. So we can use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this preset here and paste it into our routes folder here. Let's open up the configuration and we'll see that the routes have been set up properly. Now the executable path and the launch arguments are a little bit odd, but if we press launch, we can see that VRC face tracking has in fact started up. One quirk about VRC face tracking is that it will not properly close with VRC uh, router, which is why we have this auto close app thing here. This will make sure that the face tracking application is properly closed. Usually you don't need to specify the executable name here unless something is going on, like the executable's, uh, executable's a bit weird, like the face tracking one. And you only need to specify the name of the executable. So, if we press test close, as you can see, it is properly closed for your seat, uh, face tracking file. Now we're not quite done with setting up the face tracking route. Now if we press launch, you can see that uh, face tracking is listening on port 9001, but we're outputting to port 9002. So we have to make sure these match. And in our case, we're going to want to change the face tracking route that it's listening to. So let's go into settings, and let's set this 1923, or whatever the port is that you want to use here. And just in case, let's restart it. And that's it. Now, let's test this again. Let's close VRC face tracking. We have both the face tracking and the boop counter set up. Let's close the router. And launch. Let's close the configuration and now launch the router. And as you can see, boop counter started. Face tracking started. And now I don't have the headset on my face, so face tracking isn't going to do much. But uh, we can switch avatars real quick. And we'll see that the face tracking has received data. And that the boop counter has also received data. Great. Routing works fine. And this is going to be a bit hard, but I'm going to move both of these to my other monitor. I'm going to move around a bit. And... Just for a split second, we saw that VRC face tracking is receiving data and so did the boop counting. So we're properly routing stuff. So now I'm just going to close the router and everything is closed properly. Great. That's what we want. That's pretty much it.